Hello, I'm Gex Stryker and welcome back to this video. So let's talk about brewing in Minecraft because the current system for brewing in Minecraft is one that everyone finds at least a little bit tricky, right? Like there's this huge chart you can remember and that tells you about every potion, but the truth is every potion doesn't really make too much sense because they all start in pretty much the same way, they all end in similar ways. And why does the potion system work the way it does? Well, the truth is, is the current brewing system was actually a compromise between the old system they really wanted to use and then an actual usable system that people would actually like. So in today's video, I figured why not go over uh, how brewing was meant to be in Minecraft and how much cooler it would be because in my opinion I think the old version was just much better and yeah today's video we'll be going over it so hopefully you all do enjoy so please do like it if you do like it because it helps out the channel and let's know you do like these how it used to be videos or how it's meant to be videos because brewing again just was so much cooler but just couldn't ever work out so let's go to the very oldest record of brewing in the game which comes again this is the description from the Minecraft wiki of beta 1.9 pre 2 this was just before 1.0 so it was when they realized that oh before we release Minecraft we'd like to have brewing in the game somewhere so their very first ever record recorded attempt was to have it so that the cauldron would be where cauldrons were brewed, although the cauldrons were, you know, not assigned a block ID, which made potions unobtainable except through modding the cauldron so that it would be obtainable. However, the cauldron, uh, when the cauldron was obtained, potions could be brewed by adding water to the cauldron, like you see on all the versions now, followed by certain ingredients. Correctly combined ingredients would, uh, you know, confer a purely beneficial potion effect, whereas incorrect uh, combinations added negative effects. The system was complicated, lacked a GUI, and formed many duplicate potions, i.e. two potions that were exactly the same, could be made in several different ways. So Notch and Jeb uh, came up with a new brewing method using a brewing stand. So this was before the brewing stand. This is when they decided to just have it be like, oh yeah, you throw water in a cauldron, you throw extra stuff in there, and it makes a cauldron. This is kind of similar to how other games did it. And uh, the, the big problem with it though is the fact that you'd have no idea how to craft the stuff. Like, oh yeah, so if you wanted to make a potion, you threw something in there, and you wouldn't know if it was good or bad until you drank it. And also, there were many ways to get to the same stuff. So it'd be like, uh, and although I like that personally, the idea of like, oh yeah, there's thousands of possible and it just makes like a hundred different potions. The truth is, is everyone found it kind of annoying, kind of tricky, and they decided to come up together with a system which used a different item, the brewing stand. So that's right, the brewing stand never existed, you know, how the brewing stand was meant to be, it was meant to not exist, and uh, the brewing itself was meant to be a trickier system, but they just decided it was too much work. So instead, uh, you know, as uh, determined from this tweet by Jeb, where he says, a quick discussion with Notch has led me in on a new way we could use the potion brewing, the cauldron is out. So again, they obviously added the cauldron back in, and we assumed that between this step, they did something, and then eventually the current brewing system came out of it, um, but that was something we didn't know about for years and years and years until about a year ago, it's a little bit less than a year ago, Jeb did an interview about the magma uh, cream for the Minecraft on their website and it was very well hidden on there, but in there, he mentions at the end very briefly that magma cream, because he's talking about the magma block, uh, magma cream can be combined with a water bottle to craft a mundane potion, a potion with no particularly good use, and then he explains it at least not yet, uh, the mundane potion is a remnant of an abandoned procedural brewing system, meaning that the recipes were designed to be different each time you generated a Minecraft world, but this didn't turn out to be much fun for the player and the system was abandoned, leaving the mundane potion without a purpose. It's sort of like an appendix, says Jens, but who's to say what our devs might be conducting in the future? So this is really cool for two reasons, because this shows how the past can affect the future, uh, but it also confirms how there was another brewing system in the game. It didn't just go straight from, oh yeah, cauldrons to the main system. Instead, they wanted to have a massive like procedural system where every single time you generated the world, you'd get new sets of recipes and you'd have to learn them one by one. In the same way the recipe book right now works every time you craft something, you know how to do it and the whole recipes are in there. Instead, they'd have something like that where you'd slowly learn potions like, oh yeah, this for this seed, uh, you know, you add like a spider eye and then you add a magma cream and that gives you a potion of strength and speed. And I think that's such a great idea because it would make the rediscovery element something you'd get every single time you load up your world. Right now, like I said, there's that huge chart that everyone has like semi remembered like I forget it every now and then, like magma cream, what's that? Like healing and you know, you have to like go through that and you have to like link them all. But uh, if if it was random every single time, every new world would be a fun experience when you get to the brewing stand because then you're like, oh yeah, how am I going to do this? Well, I guess we'll have to try every ingredient together. We'll try and find the one we want and it'd make it so much more successful when you did find something great and it'd also mean that you could have much more powerful potions because right now there is a fixed recipe to get to strength. They cap out strength, but I think it's plus three strength. But instead, if you had a system where it's like, oh yeah, but if you find the mega strength potion, then you can have plus 300% strength and that would be so much fun, you know, because Survive Minecraft, you can make it OP for people who put in the effort, you could make it so there's a plus 300% strength potion that gives you a 6% move bonus. You can make these really weird potions, and given that it is random every time, there's no way to kind of cheese it, there's no way to cheat, and uh, yeah, I would love that personally. I mean, I mean, sometimes you get unlucky, and that's obviously why they fixed it, but the old uh, brewing system was meant to be amazing. So, that's how brewing was meant to be, but also, uh, as a fun fact, at some point, they were, they kept intending to add new uh, potions to the game. You might know there's a bunch of potions that are currently only obtainable through, you know, like, well, there's one for creative only, the luck potion, and then 
there's obviously, of course, the potions are obtainable only through modding. So at some point, they obviously intended to have these effects in the game. So fun fact, they wanted to have a potion of uh, blindness and a potion of slower, you know, block speed mining. They wouldn't have all these potions that you see on servers. That's why servers can do these crazy things because they're in the game. They're just not brewable in any way. But the crazy thing is something they removed from the game, but they had in there and they intended for you to find uh, were potions of entirely different definitions. So I'll give you the entire list right now. There's about 30 of them and they've got names ranging from stuff like the milky potion to the bulky potion to the dashing potion to the refined potion to the cordial cool potion to the stinky potion the uh, you know the, the gross potion so in, if, if you look at this list you can very clearly see there are some potions which were intended to be like neutral effects there are some which were meant to be negative like if you drink a burpee potion what do you expect is going to happen but the cool thing is at one point they wanted to have all these potions with kind of unclear effects that you could drink and you get something that we still don't probably know to this day again they only existed in the data files back in 1.9 and they were removed before the full release but it's something that i still think to this day is one of the biggest sources of potential for Minecraft. So yeah, here's a little bit of Minecraft removed features, a little bit of Minecraft how it was meant to be. And honestly, the brewing system is the one thing in the game where although, you know, everything else you can say through iteration, they made it more friendly. I still, to this day, think it would be better if we had all those 30 extra potions, even if there was a rare way to get them or like, even if you add it, so like, oh yeah, brewing stand is how you make potions easy, have a second way to make these complex potions because I love games where there's this complex brewing mechanics, which you can slowly learn and get better at because having skills in a game is a good thing. That's why people love the fact that, oh yeah, everyone knows how to mine diamonds if you watch, you know, an X Toy Cat video or, you know, everyone knows how to do this or that once you learn something. Being able to learn something and repeat it and do it again in your own world would be kind of fun. And that's why people love the enchantment. That's why people love certain systems. But I feel like brewing uh, is kind of not used right now. And this could be a fix for that. But anyway, that's my opinion. Let me know yours because obviously I've, I've made it very clear that I'm pro uh, new potions. Let me know what you think. Maybe you disagree. You're like, no, actually, current system's pretty good. Uh, I'd love to hear your opinion, regardless which way it is, in the comments down below. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed this video on how potions were meant to be and how brewing indeed was meant to be. And let me know if you want to see more in the comments down below as well, because I, I think it's kind of uh, shocking just how different some stuff used to be. So anyway, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.